Okay, progress part one. Facing this uh, piece of drywall, which I had to <clears throat> remove due to water damage from the leak. Um, I, I'm just too annoyed to continue. Basically, I still have to notch a little bit more out of here so that I can push it all the way back to the wall. So that's that. Um, I managed to get that piece of drywall up, so I've got one pot light installed. And... I cut in the one pot light over there, and then uh, I guess there's a, a pot light to, to do there. Andrew cut this one piece of drywall and got the pot light cut out. So he's just departed for the night. Um, so that's it for the basement. Now we'll go upstairs. All right, so that I got drilled in over the weekend. Um, it's caulked and screwed on one size side. I'm not sure how I did it, but I managed to put the screw holes in the wrong place on the right hand side. So it's just you know, held in place by caulk right now. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'll do. Probably uh, screw through everything and, and I guess replace, uh, I'll use top cons or something. And then if I have to, I'll put a flange over the whole thing to keep it watertight. That's the outside. Here we are on the inside. I framed it all out. I put the magical duct tape at the joints. It's angled like that on purpose. Just, I think I'm probably going too far, but just in case there's a condensation, like if I'm venting steam and it condenses, I want it to be able to run obviously uh, away or out or whatever. So that's why the uh, <clears throat> um, slope to the pipe. Uh, what has to be done is I need a piece of wood here in the corner and then I need to provide some kind of um, structure at the bottom. I hesitate to call them joists, but something that will keep this, uh, you know, constant distance from the studs and also give me a surface to screw the, um, the drywall into. So that's the kitchen. And now we'll head upstairs. So we are upstairs and I would say that pretty much every room up here is very close to being ready to paint, but not actually ready to paint. So a lot of this is just um, the stuff that, you, that I'm showing you hanging off the ceiling here. It's probably, I can't reach with the camera in my hand, here we go, probably just uh, dust. No, it's not just dust, but that's obviously can't be painted. So I'm going to have to bring the guy back in. Um, he seems to have quite a bit of pride in his work, but he, uh, he brought a crew of three other individuals. Uh, one, maybe two of them are his sons. So they can't possibly have his level of experience. And I, I don't think he spent any time checking their work, but well, he clearly <laughs> didn't spend any time checking their work because, you know, this is not ready for paint. Um, and he's under the impression that it is. So anyway, I'll bring him back in here. He can take a look and he'll probably, uh, yeah, this isn't already ready for paint. Anyway, the one room that he was working in, that I saw him working in repeatedly, um, <clears throat> it's, uh, it may actually be properly ready to paint, but the rest of this is just not. So, I guess I won't uh, bore you by belaboring the point, just to take it from me that it's, it's, it's not ready for paint. This is the war room that he was working in himself, and it's not ready for paint. Okay. Anyway, that email will go out um, as soon as I stop filming.
least it's I mean, okay, it's not perfect, but it's <clears throat> so much further than it was when they started and much further than it would have been if I had been doing this myself. It would take me weeks to get here if I was working alone. Okay, that's it for me for now.